Marilyn Manson, Twiggy Ramirez, and Madonna Wayne Gacy. And you call yourselves, you're Marilyn Manson because? Because that's my name. <laughs> Twiggy? Uh-huh. Mm. And Madonna Wayne Gacy. Yes. Uh, you're not going to help us understand the... Uh... Oh, you want to understand where the name came yeah. from? Yeah. Uh... I've always watched talk shows. I haven't got to watch yours very often, though. I watch more of the trashier ones, but uh, I found that Marilyn Monroe and Charles Manson, about five years ago when I thought of this, were the two most memorable people from the 60s. And I thought it was interesting that things like talk shows put them on the same kind of celebrity status. And I thought uh, that uh, dichotomy of positive and negative, putting those two names together, uh, represented... Uh, what I had to say and what I was about. You wanted to add? Well, first of all, I want to say how sorry I am for the parents. And second of all, um, to the young people, I think it's probably a wonderful way to feel involved and to be part of something. And dancing is a wonderful way to get out your frustration. The only problem I have is, is the hurting. I'm sure that there's a much better way to get out your energy than hurting well, other people. You don't go out. <laughs> In response to that, you don't go out intentionally to hurt anybody. If 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 somebody gets hurt in the process, then so be it. That that's just that just comes with the territory. But you don't actually go into the pit and say, yeah, well, look at that guy. Maybe I'm going to go bust his nose. That's not how it works. That's not how it happens. Exactly. Yeah. It's random. It's exactly. Not directed at anybody. You're just getting out what's inside you. Right. Exactly. You're not aiming at anybody in particular. Yes. Uh, Mr. Manson, may I call you Mr. Manson? You sure. Uh, from Seconds Magazine, you're quoted as saying, you have to take responsibility, you reap what you sow, and you have to clean up after yourself. I'm sick of people always trying to blame movies, bands, songs, or talk shows for whatever. Teen suicides, drug overdoses, everything else. If someone's stupid enough to kill themselves because of the song, then that's exactly what they deserve. They weren't contributing anything to success uh, to society. It's one less effing idiot in the world. There's too many people. If more people killed themselves over music, it wouldn't disappoint me. It would disappoint me in that it's sad that people are that stupid. Exactly. I want to know um, why it is that all of you seem to have satanic signs all over you and what is it that makes does this music cause you to do what you do is that directed at us or the parents that's funny twiggy <laughs> uh that's your little uh, music music cause okay. us to do what we do uh, we cause the music to do what it does i think yes i think that moshing is a is a sign of uh what Christians would call uh, the apocalypse. Great it's, it's, of teeth. It's, uh, you know, the culture is just getting more and more destructive, and I think it, you know, this is just a sign of the times. Oh, yeah. And I didn't invent it, you know? No, you didn't. In fact, you look a little like Alice Cooper. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. Would any of the moshers know how many deaths have occurred? Well, the Mitchells are only too painfully aware of one. They don't know of any other. This is the first I've ever heard of, and, and one at Woodstock. Well, but we have a broken back over here. Woodstock, too, featured moshing, didn't it? Absolutely. They were yeah. the biggest pit in the world. I think yeah. it was great. There's also a difference between the moshing, I think, which isn't as violent as stage diving. I think stage diving tends to be ignorant if you're going to jump off a stage you can only expect to get hurt um, we try and discourage people from even coming on the stage because that's my place of business if you come where i'm doing my business then you should plan on doing business or you're going to get hurt what, doing business uh in other words, if they well, come up on the stage... There's a lot of heavy instruments and things like that. If you're coming up there, you're going to get hurt. There's a good chance. You know, we try and discourage people to, from coming on the stage. Right. How do you do that? We make an announcement before the show. But if somebody comes up on the stage, they're likely to be... Well, the bouncers shove them back out. And well, so do you. Up getting hurt all the time. Well, yeah, so I do, too. If they hit me, I'm going to hit them back. Right. Uh, here you are with a bit of profanity with a stage crasher. Watch this. Uh, Marilyn Manson, the performer... Uh, encounters a citizen from the audience and says what? <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. And thanks, Twiggy. <laughs> These are all my generation, and I know everyone says moshing is.